Hey, what's up, Tech Nation? So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to change out the RAM on a 2013 27-inch iMac. Yesterday was my birthday, and I received some RAM. I have 32 gigs of RAM now compared to the 8 that came with my, um, my iMac. And this RAM, the RAM came from Amazon through Crucial, and I'll put a link in the description. It's about a th one... I can't remember the price. One fifty, one. It's it's not a, it's not a bad price. And uh, let me get some focus in on this for you. This is what it looks like. And I'll put a link in there so you'll know exactly where to get the RAM from, if you're interested. All right. So let's get started. This is pretty easy. The key to this project is that this process is to not be a punk. Don't be afraid to push something and 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 get something in its place. Yesterday I was really delicate with it and I couldn't figure out how it, it wasn't working. So you want to be firm when you do this. Alright, so let's begin. You want to unplug the power cable and above that is a small little oval shaped button that you cannot use your finger with because it's pretty deep. So find something that is sturdy to push down with and, and can go pretty deep. I'm using a uh, SD card. So you want to flip it around, get it to where you want to do it, and push it down in there firmly. It pops out. You take this out, set it aside. This is the door. And there are instructions on the door where the RAM should be facing. These two little prongs, you can say, I guess, right here, have arrows that point out. So just push these arrows out and everything slides up. And this is the original RAM in here, so you just want to firmly take this out and set it off to the side. Sell them on eBay, get some money off of it. And here's the crucial RAM. And you want to put it to where this little ridge right in here faces right. In a 2013 iMac, I think in 2012 it's different, but don't quote me on that. Just make sure the ridge goes in the direction it should be going. And there are slots in here, so when you come closer, you can see. All the slots and just place it in the slot and firmly push it down to where it clicks yesterday I wasn't doing that and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't close this back so put it into each slot firmly click it down like so and push this down in there until it clicks everything clicks like that and you want to take this door and put it in there the only way it makes sense these arrows that point down should be pointing down don't put it in there to where they point up these arrows point down just slightly just flip it over put in the top first or the bottom first however you want to do it and then you just firmly push down on the other sides to pop them in. And that's it. You plug in your iMac, start it up, head to the About page, or you go to what Apple About, and everything should be working smoothly. It should say, however, it should say the amount of RAM that you have in there. You can click on the memory part, and it'll give you each slot that's filled, and just make sure everything's functioning properly, and everything's good to go. And that's just a quick little video on how to do that. And I'll see you guys later this week with my Forza Horizon 2 video, my review on that. And later next month, I have some headphones coming in from a Kickstarter project that I backed. If you follow my blog, technician.xyz, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll be doing a review video on those. And I have more videos planned in between then, so I'm not just saying to come back this weekend in October. Because I have a lot of stuff coming for you guys. So, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment. Ask me questions, whatever suggestions, what kind of videos you want to see. You want me to clarify on something, let me know. Twitter at TNBlogOfficial, technation.xyz, and I'll see you next time.